What are you eating, Malmo? Uh, hi, Goldie. Mama was so hungry. He smelled something really yummy. He thought he would just have some. Malmo, did you open the clue box? Mama is so sorry, Goldie. It just smelled really good. And Mama didn't have anything to eat yet. Let's see what you have here. This looks like unleavened bread. Unleavened bread? Is that poisonous? No, Malmo. Unleavened bread is the bread that the Jews ate during the Passover festival. What is the Passover festival? Well, you see, Malmo, a long time ago, the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt under the reign of Pharaoh. He was the ruler of Egypt. Pharaoh doesn't sound like a very nice guy. He wasn't. He forced the Israelites to work very hard in harsh environments. Pharaoh didn't care if God's people were hurt, scared, hungry, or miserable. That doesn't sound very nice, Goldie. Was God going to protect his people? Yes, Malmo, like God always does. He had a plan. He sent a man named Moses to lead God's people out of Egypt into a brand new land called the Promised Land. Ooh, the Promised Land sounds very nice. Did Pharaoh let Moses leave with God's people? No, Malmo, he didn't. When Moses went to Pharaoh with this, Pharaoh said no, because he believed he was the boss. What? How can Pharaoh say no to God? He's in big trouble now. Yes, Malmo, Pharaoh was in big trouble. God sent nine different plagues to Egypt. After each one, Moses asked Pharaoh to let God's people go, but Pharaoh kept saying no. Uh-oh, this Pharaoh guy isn't very smart. No, Malmo, he wasn't very smart, but God had a plan. God sent one final plague that would wipe out the oldest son of every household, but God protected his people. Oh no, Pharaoh has made God really mad now. Yes, Melmore. God told his people to take a lamb and sacrifice it. They were to rub the blood of the lamb on their door and eat the meat with unleavened bread. So unleavened bread is bread that doesn't have any yeast. It's bread that cooks very quickly. So that night, God sent the angel of death to pass over all the houses that, that were marked with the blood of the lamb. And therefore, that night is called the Passover because the angel of death passed over God's people. Did Pharaoh finally let God's people go? Yes, Malmo. Pharaoh finally let God's people go. And every year after, God's people would celebrate the Passover festival by eating lamb and unleavened bread to remind them of what God has done by sparing them and letting the angel of death pass over their houses. But you see, Malmo, this rescue was just a preview of the sacrifice that was to come. Jesus was to come and he was going to be the ultimate sacrifice. The sacrifice that would rescue the entire world. Mamo is going to finish eating his unleavened bread. And I will see you guys next time.